Okay, I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet, but I got a couple messages from some of you guys uh, to make sure you understood how to get into and how to use my open math where we're doing all of our great events. So I was going to try to make a PowerPoint. I figured I'd just do a quick little video to show you around. So this is my open math. Just go to myopenmath.com. Uh, you're going to log in with your username and password. Mine is saved here. Uh, you should have got yours in the instructions. If it is not working, you need it reset or you don't want to know what it is, just send me a direct message and we can take care of it. So go ahead and log in. Uh, and then over here, you should have courses you're taking. Uh, it's under teaching for me, but uh, fall 2021, do that. And then I'm going to change this to student over here so it looks like what you guys would see. And so when you log in here, everything that you get points for in this course is going to be in here. Uh, the first part you're going to see up here is uh, this calendar, which you can change to show the next three weeks, the next two weeks, whatever you want. But what it is going to show on there uh, is it's showing you when everything uh, is due. The colors, uh, gray means that it is not unlocked yet, meaning it's a quiz that hasn't opened yet, but you can see when it's going to happen. Uh, and then you have the, uh, everything else is color coded, red to green showing uh, how soon it is due. So for example, uh, today's lesson one check ride, if you're an M day, is due uh, at the end of today, and therefore it is uh, red. You can also switch this to an events list if you just want a list of it. Um, you can click on any date here. So if I click on the 25th where several things are due, I can scroll down and see here is everything. And I can jump straight to it here if I want to as well. So here's homework four. I could click right there and it will open up homework four and you could start working on that. Anytime you can go back here to click on Math 356 Fall 2021. Uh, changes may not be saved. They will be for you guys. Uh, and I am back here at the screen. So that is a way, that's the calendar to kind of help you keep track. As you scroll down, you then have all of these things here for each of our categories uh, of lessons, and you can uh, expand each one of those. At the very bottom is just resources. This is where I just dump uh, files that you might want uh, to look at. You can click on them and they will download it. Uh, but then I also have up here, uh, our, for example, our guided lessons and check rights. So for each lesson, we have the guided lesson that you're supposed to look to. You can click to download it. You can also click right here uh, on a, uh, well, the preview, I guess that's a Word document. So that is, uh, needs to be uh, updated to a PDF. I apologize. But I can click on uh, this and it will download. And then you can go ahead uh, and look at uh, these files uh, over here and see what is uh, your expectations for the next day once you do that. You can then complete the check ride, which is right here, by clicking on the lesson one check ride. And it says, hey, here's the things you need for it. Have you already gone through it? The note taker is just something optional one of our instructors created to help you guys out. Uh, as soon as you're done, it says, you're ready, it says five minutes start. Are you sure? Yes, it's gonna start. And then it has a simple question. These are check rides. What's the name of our textbook for Math 356? Spoiler, it's my open math. Check the answer. Uh, and oh, I am. <laughs> and let's say I did this on purpose. My open math is the system I'm on. I was looking at it right now. The name of our book is Open Intro. You get two tries at this. It is my open intro. Check answer there. I am good. Submit and end after submitting. Yes. OK. I am good to go. Uh, I'm going to just jump back to here. Uh, I'm going to close that because I don't want to look at my guided lessons. As you can see, these are grayed out because they are not open yet. Check rides are each uh, lesson. Then I can go to the homework. Unlike the check rides, the homework, you can get as far ahead as you want. So they are all open. So if you want to start working on homework seven uh, or homework eight, uh, you can go ahead. It has no open, just it's due on the 2nd of uh, September. If you're an M day, you can go ahead and click on that and say, yeah, I want to go ahead and start that. And you can start working on it. You have unlimited uh, tries on these. And so you can go ahead and some of these are just fill in the blanks. Some of these are drop downs. And once, anytime you submit your question, it will tell you immediately whether you've got wrong or right. I could do uh, part of one and then exit out of it, and it will save my answers. You can come back and work on that later. And that is all the homework. Just want to make sure they are in by the due date. Labs, similar idea, only these are fewer and farther between. And unlike, instead of doing them online, you uh, have for every lab assignment, you're going to read through the instructions. So you can open up uh, here. So for example, I can click on the instructions and it tells me, there you go, here's my instructions on what I'm gonna do with lab one. The template and the data set, these are things you download. So when I click on this, instead of opening it, it's going to download. And then you can open that if you've installed R. 
it will go ahead and open it and here's where you're going to do your work. You're going to, once you finish it, you are going to click this knit button up here to create a uh, document. And then you will go right here. This is the uh, assignment lab. You will click on that and say, yes, I'm ready to start it. Uh, and then you just upload uh, your file of your lab. And so I would go here, choose a file, put it, and then I would write my documentation. I got no help. And you would submit your answer here, and then your lab is done. If you got to change it, you can come back and upload another file instead of it, and it will use your most latest one. I'm going to go back to the main page again. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. As you can see, the labs are divided into uh, these. Again, if you want to get ahead, you can. We've got the labs uh, loaded up here, and for anyone, it shows the instructions. The top instructions stay the same. Uh, we just have different instructions, template, and a data set for each one. And that'll make more sense as we get close to it, but please poke around and take a look at it. Quizzes. Quizzes are a little different because, like the GRs, they are timed events that only open, like it says here, quiz one is on lessons one through five and will not be available until uh, the 23rd of August. And so once it is, that will be green, and you can click on that and choose a time to do your quiz. The same thing is for the GR. It is not open yet. Uh, once it is, uh, I'll give more instructions there and uh, you can go ahead and finish. You'll pick a time uh, during uh, that window uh, and complete the quiz that way. So that is a kind of quick uh, intro to uh, my open math. Like I said, the idea before each lesson is that you would go in. Uh, so for lesson two or lesson one, for those of you who are T days, you would go into the guided lesson section and say, all right, so for uh, guided lesson one, I'm going to download the uh, guided lesson. I'm gonna open that guided lesson up and it will be right here. It will tell you, here's a note from me. Here's our lesson objectives. We don't have anything for the intro. You're gonna then watch some videos and do some things and prepare for it. Once you are uh, done working through that, the night before the check ride will open, or if you want to, the first five minutes of every class will be available. Like I said, it's only a single question uh, to just see that you did it. Not that you are an expert at it yet, just that you have gone through it. Uh, and then uh, once we're in class, we'll uh, work through our and answer any questions. So I hope that helps. I uh, hope that answers more questions than it makes, but if there are, if you guys have trouble logging in, uh, or if you have questions about how to use my open math, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and I will talk to you then and see you MDAers on Wednesday, if not earlier. Thank you guys for all of your help on this.